Okay, I'm going to show you exactly how you can uh, get your book covers customized with your own graphics and your own title and author name and whatever you want to put on there. So let's get to this right away. Uh, here you are on the ebook covers. Here you download and customize your ebook covers page. You'll see there's a couple download links. The first one will download the covers. Just go ahead and download them to your desktop or wherever you want to download them. The second thing you need to download is your royalty free graphics. Pardon the noise here. Uh, so those are going to be the graphics that we've provided to you uh, that you can use for your ebook. And step two is to watch the video that you've already clicked on. Uh, and there is an advertisement down here. I just want to let you know if you want to do other things like create membership cards, uh, do a little more 3D work with your uh, with your book covers, create iPad graphics, whatever it is. I highly recommend this product. It's called Box Shot, Box Shot King. You can watch the demo. Very easy to use. Lots of custom graphics already included, so you can just plug everything in and go. You can literally have uh, all, all, sorts, all sorts of product images ready within a few minutes. Uh, but let's get to uh, how we do this real quick. You're going to click this link that says Link to Editing Program. And that is going to take you here. And you have to have Flash to get this to work, so if you don't, you'll need to install Flash, but you probably already do. So the first thing you want to click is Open Image from computer. So we're going to click that and then you're going to go ahead and go to your ebook covers. And for this, uh, let's use a hard cover. I'm just going to grab uh, this cover right here just for giggles. So you see from your desktop, you choose the image, it'll open up your cover. Don't worry about these checkerboard look. This just makes it transparent so that it'll match any background that's on your website already. Otherwise, it will just be white. So now uh, all you're going to do is click on this text tool and you're going to start typing in the name. So let's call it title of book. Now I think a good, a good one is impact for a title. So go ahead and go to impact. You see it's a little small, so we'll just slide it and make it a little bit bigger. That's big, nice and bold. Uh, then you can just click this arrow tool, make it centered up. Uh, click the text tool again, right underneath here. Uh, let's go this time with, first let's type in. Oopsie. So we'll type in author name. Obviously it's too big, but what's nice about with this program is you can see uh, the different options that you have. So let's say, let's go with that one right there. And it looks just a little big for the author name, so let's size it down. Okay, you can see now we have the title of the book and the author name, and it looks pretty sharp. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and still edit that by clicking over here, title of the book, and then we can just adjust it again. Now, we're going to go ahead and click on layer and say open image as layer. And it's going to go back to our hard drive. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to click on um, the graphics that we have. So here's some graphics. Let's go ahead and grab this guy jumping in the air like he just graduated. There he is. Oh, he's humongous. So what are we going to do? We're going to go over to edit free transform and then if you hold down the shift button when you're doing this, it'll make sure that he doesn't get like that. So hold down the shift and it'll make him the right size. Okay, uh, we need a little bit more room, so I'm gonna click, yes, you want to apply the images. So I'm gonna click the title, bring the title up higher, click the author name, bring it up just a little bit higher, and then his picture I can make right in the center. So there you have uh, your nice ebook graphic with a nice custom image in it. And when you want to save it, you simply go to File, Save, and say My Computer. Click OK. Let me just show you. Uh, transparent means uh, if you click a PNG or transparent graphic, that means that you're going to be able to see through the outsides of it. Let's do a JPEG, which makes it white for us, so you can see exactly what this is going to look like. Save it to the desktop. And let's take a look at it on my desktop. Here it is. Double click on it. And that's what that ebook would look like. So there's obviously a lot more you can do to it. You can try out different texts and different colors and uh, different images, add more than one image, but you get the idea. It's very easy to do. If you have questions, you can just click on our support tab over here, this get support area. 
Otherwise, again, I highly recommend if you want to get other graphics or create graphic bundles or create uh, lots of different 3D images that are very easy to do, I highly recommend you check out Box Shot King. Otherwise, uh, we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.